Hi, and welcome to the Bible Tribe Word of the Day. I'm Denise Pass with Seeing Deep Ministries, where we see deep in a shallow world and overcome the battles of the mind with the Word of God. In God's kingdom, those who are first will be last. This puts the strivings of man in its place. Reading today in the book of Matthew, chapters 18 through 20, and the verse of the day is Matthew 18, verse 3. Truly I say to you, unless you are converted and become like children, you will not enter the kingdom of heaven. Word of the day is converted. It is the Greek word strepho. This word means to twist, turn, bend. The BDAG lexicon says it means to change the position of something relative to something by turning. The disciples were asking Jesus, who was the greatest? We all know this is not the Sunday school question to ask, right? Jesus wasn't saying that they should be childish, but that they should be innocent. The Enduring Word commentary had this to say about why Jesus would tell the disciples to be like children. A child was a person of no importance in Jewish society, subject to the authority of his elders, not taken seriously except as a responsibility, one to be looked after, not one to be looked up to. Children are not threatening. We aren't afraid of meeting a five-year-old in a dark alley. When we have a tough, intimidating presence, we aren't like Jesus. Children are not good at deceiving. They are pretty miserable failures at fooling their parents. When we are good at hiding ourselves and deceiving others, We aren't like Jesus. The child is held up as an ideal, not of innocence, purity, or faith, but of humility and unconcern for social status. Jesus knew that we must be converted to be like little children. It isn't in our nature to take the low place and to humble ourselves. Believing in Jesus is not a set of rules of do's and don'ts. Believing in Jesus is a complete paradigm change from the world system that will require us to be converted. In what ways do you see your need to be converted? Are there areas where you tend to think from a worldly point of view? Ask God to help you to think like Jesus. The Bible says we have the mind of Christ. Walk in it. Go with God and his precious word, friends. Join us tomorrow in the book of Romans.